Church Tech Weekly presents Infocom 2014, brought to you by Church Tech Arts, your source for all things live production in the church. Visit our website at churchtecharts.org. All right, well, we are uh, doing our Infocom 2014 coverage here, and uh, we're over at the Dante booth, or the Audinate booth, technically, I guess, and uh, we're looking at some new Dante protocol called VIA, or VIA? VIA, Dante VIA. Dante Via, okay. So Dante Via is here, and I'm here with Gary Southwell, who's going to walk us through kind of this really cool, uh, it's really almost an exp expansion of the virtual sound card idea, only it d it separates that from the hardware. So now you don't have to have dedicated hardware to do some I.O. with Dante. But I'll let Gary talk about that, because this is a really cool protocol. Yep. So uh, Dante Via is a software application that basically turns any PC network into a Dante audio network. So as was said, it provides a software-based audio networking solution. So you can imagine one, two, three, 50, 100, 1,000 computers could all have Dante Via loaded on them, and now we've enabled audio to go in between each of those devices. So if we were to look at the machine, the idea with Dante Via is to make sure that we can take anything that you might want to plug into the device and discover it so that we can send audio from that. So, do you want to zoom in? So, if I were to demonstrate it, on this device here, we have Dante Via running. I have a separate device over here, a second device. We also have Dante Via running. They are both networked together through an Ethernet connection down into a switch down below here. And what has happened in, on this device, I'm looking at it, I've discovered my own instance of Dante Via, but I've also, through the network, discovered this other device. And if there were more on the network, I would discover them all. So what's interesting here is Dante Via will discover anything that's plugged into it that can create audio. We're connected to an HDMI screen, and it's discovered the HDMI interface on the, on the uh, Dante Via has an audio source. So I could potentially tie into that. But in our example here, I'll show you, we have a USB microphone from Audio-Technica. All I have to do is plug this in, and it should self-discover that as well. And I'll demonstrate. Let's see if I can see. So what's happened is I plugged this in uh, into device B, so I just have to open up the window so I can see what's going on. And if you can see that, the uh, USB microphone has uh, appeared. It's appropriately labeled with whatever label the manufacturer put on it. We've discovered that and display that. So now I have that as a source of uh, potential audio. On this device, I'm going to connect in a sound card from Focusrite, which is connected to a speaker, which you can't see, and I will plug that into the oops, second computer. You can hear that clicking in. I need to open up the window. Oops. I need to make sure I properly open a window, and if you can zoom in on that, you can see that the sound interface has appeared. So both devices now, I, what I can do with Don TV is I can decide I'm going to connect the microphone to talk up that speaker on that other device. So we simply click that in the uh, matrix, which then creates a green check mark that lets us know that sound is now ready to go through the device. So I can actually talk through this and it's coming out the other microphone or out the other speaker from this microphone on the other side. So that's not all that Dante Via can do. It cannot it can it can uh, network interfaces that collect into the computer, but we can also connect any audio application as well that might be found on this uh, computer. Right now it's hard to see, but what we have here is we have iTunes I've found. So what I can do is actually connect iTunes and if you can see the the interface iTunes has just appeared as soon as I opened up the application. So if I want to, I can actually connect iTunes to that speaker. Actually turn it up a little. And now I can go to back to iTunes and just start to play the music. So, so you can imagine that while well, we're here on a podium, and that's interesting, think about this being in one location, I want to play background music to 50 other uh, rooms, or I want to have a conversation where I'm providing a presentation out to 50 rooms. Any ad hoc computer with Dante Via can now be connected to the network and then be a, a receiver of that information. 
That's very cool. And so obviously tons and tons of applications of this. Uh, Van and I were talking about just before we started filming uh, the idea of having a ProPresenter computer at uh, front of house and needing to play back video. Um, you know, normally you've got to do a uh, audio interface back to the uh, sound uh, console. Well, now if you want multi-track audio, you could do a multi-track video out of ProPresenter via simple Cat5 cable onto the Dante network, pick it up in the sound console, and you're ready to go. And for monitoring uh, mixes throughout the facility, if you've got a couple different student rooms that are running during the weekend, you know, tech director could sit in his office and pick off those two channels of audio to listen to all of that. It's an important point because you can connect to any ex existing Dante network. You don't have to have just a VIA network. It, it will also connect to any other piece of Dante hardware that's out there. Yeah. So. so anything that's on the Dante network, you can pick off with Dante VIA. Um, and it'll give you as many outputs as you have available on your device or devices that are connected to your computer. That's exactly right. So that's some pretty cool technology. Um, pricing and availability is going to be a huge question that everybody's going to be wanting to sure. know. Sure, sure. This is an early demo. Uh, it'll have a different user interface. So what will happen is um, we'll have this out in the December time frame, uh, and it'll be priced at under fifty dollars uh, a computer. That's pretty amazing, and no channel count limit on that either. Uh, we'll figure out what the channel count limit might be, but we haven't got that far. So it's, it's, it's going to be at least 64 by 64, and it'll probably be much more than that. But no, for the licensing, though, there's no oh, count on that. Licensing, for the licensing, there's no limit. That's right. So whatever you've got available, you've got available, which is cool. So if people want to learn more about this, uh, imagine there's a website available. Yes, if you go to the uh, audinate.com website, you'll find Dante Via there, and there's a little description, and you can actually check there and if you want to learn when it's available. Uh, and if you check on that, and you'll also find that you can participate in our uh, early uh, adoption program, where we'll give you a beta version of the software just for you. We want your feedback. So please check it out. Awesome. So that's uh, audinate.com. And uh, if you're anywhere near a Dante network or thinking about going to a Dante network, this is just one more reason to uh, look at that as your uh, distribution protocol for, uh, for audio. So very cool. Thanks for your time today. Thank you. All right.